Barb, we rejoice with you. Amen. And we're honored to share your story. And we're encouraged by your faith in the Word of God and your tenderness in sharing His mercy. Thank you so much. Before we pray, I want to share a couple more great reports. Uh, this is, and uh, excuse me, here we go. Since recovering from a light case of COVID in March 2022, Wilson of Pilot Mountain, North Carolina, had suffered with a digestive issue, which caused nausea and acid reflux. His doctor ordered an ultrasound, thinking he might have a gallbladder issue. He was so worried, and as he sat in the hospital for a test, the club came on in the waiting room. That happens a lot. We love those hospitals putting it on. One of the hosts said, someone has an unresolved digestive issue. You're being healed. Wilson claimed the word, and when he got the test results back, they were clear. Amen. Oh, how wonderful. That's awesome. Well, this is Christian. He's from Spokane, Washington. He was experiencing a major recurring irritation in his right eye. He decided he'd call CBN for prayer. He prayed with one of our prayer agents, and as they were closing the prayer, Christian felt the irritation and the pain suddenly start to release. He was so thankful they rejoiced together that God had moved so quickly and done this miracle for him. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Terry and I counted an honor to pray for you, and we want to do that now. Father God, we lift up the needs of the audience. Lord God, they are many. People are needing a touch from you, Lord, and we pray your Holy Spirit just moves and is active in their life right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to pray for those with eye issues, eye problems, almost a, it's like a blindness. We read in Scripture how the scales mm -hmm. fell from Saul's eyes, and I just see that happening now. Lord God, those with vision problems, you're, you're sensing a greater vision now, and healing is coming to people's eyes. And it's also a word for you've been praying for a loved one who is making just terrible decisions, walking away from the Lord, and scales are falling from his eyes now, and he is going to hear the voice of God clearly, and he's going to know Jesus is his good shepherd. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, there are also uh, many of you who are suffering with mental illness, and uh, I just believe God's doing a healing in many, many of your lives. Some of you have uh, bipolar conditions. Some are suffering with schizophrenia, just deep depression in others. And it's the answer always seems to be medication, medication, medication. And that is important. But today, God is setting you free. Lift your hands up. Begin to worship and praise him. Claim that word for your condition and walk in it. Amen. Tara is getting such a similar word. It's someone with an obsessive compulsive mm. disorder, and it's such a struggle for you. And I just hear the Holy Spirit saying, do you want to be free? Do you want to be free? You, you continue in your life to check things you're not already taken care of, and it's just obsessing you. Raise your hands now as Terry was praying. I'm in agreement with that. And just say, Lord, release me from this mental and emotional distress. You're finding freedom today in Jesus' name. And there's someone else, you have like a recurring tick in your face. I don't know what that's from, but nothing you do seems to alleviate it. In Jesus' name, be set free from that right now. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'd love to hear from you. If you've experienced a miracle, call us 800-700-7000.